Hi everybody. Today I released a video game. I'd like to walk you through it and uh, tell you the story behind its development. Uh, this is the project that I've been working on for the last several months. Um, and it's finally done. It's been officially released as of about an hour ago. Um, it's up on my website, free to download. Uh, there's a link in the description where you can find the download. Um, it's available for Mac OS X, Windows, and Linux. So if you're on any of the big three desktop operating systems, you should be able to run it. So here's the game. This is Water Tower Classic. Um, if you go to the About item here, uh, it tells you all about the story behind it. Um, I'll give you sort of the short version. So this is a game that I wrote a long time ago. Uh, it was written in such a way that doesn't make it possible to run it on modern operating systems. I wanted to play it again, uh, and it kind of bugged me that one of my games was no longer playable. So I decided to modernize it uh, and re-release it for, uh, for computers these days. So um, that turned out to be kind of a big project. I was actually working on a sequel to this game uh, for a while. I was kind of trying to write two games at once, because I wanted to write the sequel, but also have a mode in it where you could play levels from the original game, and that turned out to be a pretty bad idea, so um, what I realized finally was what I needed to do uh, is to split off the original game and release it separately, then work on a sequel with a clean break in it. So this is the old game. This is kind of a warts and all pre-release, uh, pre-release, re-release. Um, it's the game has a lot of flaws in it. The art is terrible. The music is terrible. Um, but I think it has a certain charm to it, and I like I like the way it plays. And I'm so proud of what I've created. So it's sort of it's it's kept it's the flaws are kept intact for historical accuracy. Uh, this is the game as it was released 11 years ago, modernized just enough to be playable these days. So let me walk you through the menus a little bit. This is, this is the main menu, this is what you see when you first start the game. You can uh, play any of the four included level sets with the game here. Um, we'll be doing that in a moment, but let's go through the rest of the menus first. So, settings. Um, you can change your controls here. If you have a, if you have an Xbox 360 controller, or a DualShock 4 controller, um, the buttons will be automatically set up for it, uh, it just by plugging it in. If you have any other kind of controller, you can come in here and uh, reconfigure it however you want, uh, or change your keys or whatever. I'm just going to be playing with a keyboard. So, uh, turn sound on and off, turn music on and off. Um, you can change the way the screen is scaled because the original game was written for a 640 by 480 resolution. I'm basically treating it as pixel art here, so if you want your pixels to be one-to-one, -one, you can set scale to integer instead of free, and it will give you, uh, so he, this is 1080p, um, so you only get 960 pixels vertically if you set it to integer. But it looks a little better, because uh, you can see some of the pixels are a little bit wonky here, because they're not all the same size. Um, so let's actually play in integer mode, because that mostly fills the screen, it looks a little better. You can change your filter from nearest to linear here if you want uh, things to be drawn with a linear filter, which kind of, it, it blurs them a little bit, but if you prefer that look to jaggedy pixels, then that option is there. Uh, turn on and off full screen. Oh, well, this says off. Um, it's a little bit misleading because I started with full screen mode off. Uh, you can toggle it any time with Alt-Enter, um, so that, that doesn't actually change the preference. Like, if I restart the game, it'll still be off. Maybe I should change that. I don't know. Uh, V-Sync on and off. Uh, just whatever you prefer. I've done a lot of work to make sure V-Sync doesn't introduce any latency, but uh, if you have issues, you're free to turn it off there. Um, I'll play with it on, because it seems to work pretty well. Uh, this game has a... You know what? Before we get into that, let's actually play. So, if you start with a tutorial... Um, Right, uh, I've warned you that the music in this game is terrible. I'm going to leave it on for the tutorial. Uh, I'll turn it off for the rest because, I don't know, I don't like it very much. Um, so yeah, tutorial has a bunch of levels in it that just basically teach you the mechanics of the game. So this is a platform game. Uh, your little guy is running around here, and you have water constantly rising from the bottom. Yellow blocks, uh, yellow sponge blocks appear when the water covers them. Blue sponge blocks disappear when the cover when the water covers them. So you have to wait for that bridge to appear. 
then wait for this barrier to disappear. So a lot of this game has to do with uh, going in and out of water and just managing your um, what you're doing and whether you're underwater or over, uh, on top of it. Those fall after you stand on them for a little bit. These crumble after you step off of them. This should be pretty obvious. So yeah, in each level the goal is just to get to the top. Um, and then you move on to the next one. Switches. Toggle blocks in the level. Phasing blocks. Appear and disappear at predictable intervals. Teleporters, keys, yeah, this is all pretty obvious. Now on sand, you can't jump, so uh, I have to go up above here to get this gem. The gems are just there for... They, they originally had a purpose, but they don't really anymore. Um, they're just there for points, so if you want to get points, go for gems. If you don't care about them, then don't bother. So if I touch that, I die. I'll show you. I have plenty of extra lives in the tutorial, and there's one up there that I can get. I think this was the first uh, first piece of music that I ever wrote, and it shows. <laughs> I thought about trying to compose a, a new, some new background music for this for the re-release, but that didn't quite happen. I just wanted to get it out the door and move on to other projects. Those float in the water, uh, and you can safely walk across one block gaps, so I can do this without falling down. The one that I'm standing on right now is a wood block. Uh, it floats. Uh, the ice blocks over there also float, but they also uh, can be used to put out fire. So that's the difference between those two. And that's the tutorial. So let's turn off the music so I don't subject you to that terrible sound anymore. Uh, easy levels. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's better with the music on. I don't know. I'll leave it off for this. So this, these start out a little bit tutorially, so you can you can actually skip the tutorial and just go straight to the easy levels if you want to. Um, this kind of introduces all the block types. So I need all of those keys to get through the locks up there. Just gotta get to each one, using whatever means is necessary. One of the things I don't entirely like about the design of this game, or maybe the design of the levels, is that there's a lot of sort of hurry up and wait. I have to just wait for the water to reach this so I can get the key, then wait for it to get up here so I can get across the bridge. That's something I want to address for the for the sequel to this game, which is something I'd like to work on uh, after this. More gems. Not much point to them, but I'll get them anyway. Anyway, uh, I don't need to go through all these levels, but that gives you a taste of what the game is like. Um, there are easy, intermediate, and advanced levels uh, of increasing difficulty, of course. Um, difficulty gets pretty high with the more advanced ones. So, anyway, so let's stop this. Uh, in the, at the pause screen, you can get to the settings at any time if you want to change your controls or your sound and music settings or whatever. Uh, you can retry the level, which will just kill you and restart. Uh, you can end the game, which takes away all your lives. That's what, what happens if, if you lose all your lives. Uh, you end up back at the splash screen. Also, this has a level editor. So, uh, I, can create, I can create a new empty level set, or I can duplicate one of the existing ones. So if I have to duplicate, like, say, the advanced levels, go to Edit, uh, then I'm here on this screen where I can change whatever I want about it. Uh, so if we go to Test Level down here, you can try out just one level and see how it plays. So this is the first of the advanced levels. It's it's pretty brutal. I have have a lot of trouble with it sometimes. Let's see if I can do it in one try here. Yep, there we go. Um, so level editor works about like you'd expect. You can play stuff, erase stuff. Uh, some of the blocks have special properties, like the phasing block, so this is initial delay 0, on period 1, off period 1. Let's place one with initial delay of 1, 
and one with an off period of two, and just see how they behave differently. So you can see how that's affecting the uh, the rate at which they appear and disappear. Uh, let's see, how do we do this? There we go. Um, you can change the water level here. This, oops. Uh, the, the water here starts pretty low. Um, it's going up. You can make it go downward if you want to. Water speed negative. So that's going down now. Uh, so... Move a player start position. Uh, you can place blocks in a uh, in a rectangle if you'd like. Uh, use that to just erase them. If you've already placed something that has uh, some kind of properties to it that are editable, you can use this tool to uh, to inspect it. So this one's initial delay ten. This one's on period nine. So that'll show you. Uh, you can also use this tool to pick a block uh, and place a copy of it. So teleport with ID one. I'm now placing that here. So yeah, uh, you can add a level, delete a level, all works like you'd expect. Uh, I do not want to save those changes. But yeah, so on my website, uh, I'm going to add a le uh, section for user-created levels. I collected a bunch from the original game uh, when people made them, and some of them are really good. A lot of them are a whole lot better than the, the levels that I made for this game, uh, so I definitely want to make those available. Um, if you feel like making some levels here, feel free. That's what you get when you create a new new level. Just empty space. Just give it give it a route to the top and whatever you want in the way. Ooh, uh, and that's it. Oh, I, I guess I... Wait, what's going on here? <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, so that is the game. Uh, I'm happy to have it done. I'm proud of it to an extent. Like I said, it has some flaws. Uh, I've left them in for historical accuracy. New games that I create will be using what I've learned in the 11 years since I wrote this game. So um, I'm, I'm hoping other games I release after this will be better than it. But I'm still happy to have this out. Anyway, that's the game. Feel free to try it. Uh, again, links are in the description. It's a free download for uh, all the big three desktop platforms. Uh, let me know if you have any problems with the game. Let me know if you make any levels and uh, want them to be put on my website. And yeah, uh, it's great to have this done. Hopefully I'll have some more time for recording now, now that this project is finished. Uh, although I'll also be working on other game projects too, so we'll just see how that goes. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys.